It's May 2nd, 2022, and I have a word from the Lord I'm going to speak. Let's read Revelation 22. We're going to start 11. Here we go. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his works shall be. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first, and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the tree of life, and may enter through the gates of the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and adulterers, and whosoever loves and make a lie, I, Jesus, have set my angel to testify unto you of these things. In the church, I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright morning star, the spring of the bright, say, come. Let him that heareth say, come. Let him that athirst take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that the hearing of this word, the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add to these words, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book a prophecy, God shall take away the part out of the book of life and the holy city and from the which is that which is written in the book. I'm going to stop right there. Okay. I want to go over to Nineteen of Revelation. I think I'm going to start at. I'm going to start at seven. Nineteen Revelation. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to Him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come. His wife has made herself ready. To her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And He said unto me. Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. He has, he saith unto me, these are the true sayings of God. I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do not it not, see thou do it not. I am the fellow servant and of thy brethren. That have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven open, and behold, the white horse. And he that sat upon it was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew, but he himself. He was clothed in the vesture dripping, dripped with blood, and his name was called the word of God. I want to stop right there. I could go on, but I want to stop. So his name is the word of God. Now, the issue we have here is they believe that he was just a man. He's not just a man. He's the living God. That was the whole point of the dream. I was telling them that he was the living God and Satan was trying to stop me. Now, I want this video definitely to be open to whoever wants to comment. And I want it to be loving. I don't want any profane babbling in this, on this video, or I will take it off. But if you want to have a conversation about what's truth, it's wide open to do so. Okay, so the living God spoke. I was looking at Matthew twenty-seven fifty-two, which talks about the saints coming out of the grave. And I'm not going to read it. If you want to look at it, you can. It's Matthew twenty seven fifty two, Then he spoke. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first, and the last. I am the Word made flesh that dwelt among my people. I am he believe. This generation has many leaders that deceive the people, and most know me not. I am the Redeemer of souls. I renew it once again. I deliver it from the death to life because I am. 
All power has been given unto me. You that believe the grave is where the soul dwells is not under my shadow. You have believed the lie. I declare, hell awaits for souls in Isaiah. Yet you refuse to believe. Woe unto rebellious children. You did not seek the truth. I am going to judge you rightly. Many perish in one moment. Be not deceived. I will not be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Your reward is according to your works. There is a judgment ahead of you. This is no time to be comfortable in this world. I'm judging my church. Then this world. This is the latter days. And it is judgment for you. Believe. Thank you, Father, for this word. I appreciate you fulfilling everything that you said in the Old Testament through your Son, Jesus Christ, that we understand he is the express image of the Father. That's why he is. Philip said, show us the Father. And Jesus said, I want to go to it. Show us the Father that it suffices. us. And Jesus said, go over there. I wasn't expecting to do this, but he put on my heart to speak it. Let's see. I definitely don't want to misquote this. Let's see if I can find it quickly. Otherwise, I'm just going to say it. I'm not finding it quickly. Okay, so I'm going to just say it. Philip said, show us the Father. And Jesus said, have you been so long with me, Philip? He who has seen the Son has seen the Father. You can look that one up. Also, you've got after they had all been with the Lord, Thomas came and said he won't believe unless he puts his finger in his hand. I will read that. Now when he had said this, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, my Father, as my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. Now when he had said this, he breathed on them, and saith unto them, Receive the Holy Ghost. I want to pause really quick. That was 22 of 20 of John. The Old Hebrew, the Old Hebrew, I'm going to put, I'm going to put on this too, that it was like picture, picture, and what it means is um, ha uh, hand behold, nail behold. That's what it, it means. So, Yahweh, Jehovah, hand behold, nail behold. It is, is the, it is the salvation promise, and Jesus is. Okay. And when he said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive the, the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sinneth is remitted, and they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sin is retained, they are retained. But Thomas, one of the twelve called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. And the other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. And he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nail, and put my finger in the print of the nail, and thrust my hand in his side, I will not believe. Now after eight days again the disciples were with them, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus to the door with them, and then comes you again. And... Then came Jesus to the door, being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and do not be faithless, but believing. Now, you who think he's just a man, listen clearly what the living God says through his son. And Thomas, I mean, not, not his son, I'm sorry, through his, what is said through the disciple Thomas, and Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. So here you have Thomas acknowledging Jesus Christ is the living God. My Lord and my God. He declares it to him. And Jesus says unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they which have not seen and yet have believed. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in the book. These are written that they ye may believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that believing ye might have life through his name. Okay, so we just read 20, and we started at 
19 and we went all the way to the end of 31. Thank you, Lord, for this. And there's so many scriptures I could do to prove Jesus Christ is the living God. We can go to John 8, 24, John 8, 58, John 10, 30. Remember, John's the book where he declares himself the living God. Matthew 16, 16. You have to believe he's the living God. Hebrews 1, 3. Right? I said this video is wide open. Let's have a discussion. Because the whole point is, I just told you that... You're judged when you die. You're going to judgment. And that is in Hebrews 9.27. It's a point of man wants to die in judgment. You're going to judgment. So let's make sure that you understand truth, that you believe Jesus is the living God, that he's, he is the breath of life. Let us, get, let us get our minds and our hearts set on the living God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Seek of now. Shalom.